Let's go ahead and throw our adorable sloth out of here. You are absolutely adorable. What is your name, little guy? What are we gonna Hey do? guys, what's going on? Bud for Bud Plays the Games here, bringing you some more modded Ark Survival Evolved Extinction Core on my Twitch subscriber slash Patreon backer server, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty good myself. As you can see, we did indeed finish our beautiful, beautiful house up there. I say finish, but it's not completely done, because I want to hook up electricity in the bottom of it. But let me quickly show you guys this. Uh, we actually did name our Lightning Wyvern Balerion. If you guys don't know, that is the actual dragon from uh, Game of Thrones. The, it's the big skull or whatever in the basement uh, of the of the castle. So we named him that. You can see the stats on there. We did end up killing a Skeletal Wyvern, and so we got a pretty baller skin on him now. Now, let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little house tour thing here. Uh, you can see we've got some of our stuff set up. We've got our, uh, what are these, the preserving bins. We've got all that rocking and rolling in here. Let me go ahead and get just a little bit more meat. As you can see, we have... This guy right here, which I got last night on stream as well, last night being Friday the 29th of uh, September. So guys, we got that Lightning Wyvern Egg on stream. We got a 360, 360, 380, 340, and a 340. So we're doing pretty well on that front. But as you guys can see, the little base setup I've got here, we got a little upstairs where our fabricator's at. Might put some more stuff up here um, when I need to. And then down here, we got this little guy in the corner. Oh, come on, let me... You gotta open it from this side, I think, right? Yes, that side. You can see we have our nice little basement here. I'm gonna, probably going to put a generator down here, run my wiring through the floor. So I can kind of hide it just a little bit, make it look nice. Oh, let's see if I can get out of here now. That's that's the real trick, get, managing to get out of here. I guess I could put, like, dung beetles or something down there as well. That might work. Uh, but today, guys, I have been uh, looking around, trying to decide what it is that I would want to tame. And I think I've discovered it. This is... A very adorable dinosaur and I really really want one I haven't tamed one yet before so I did have to look up how to actually tame these guys but uh, I'm looking for one of those big sloths I think they're called mega theriums I think that's what they are I could be incorrect on the pronunciation or the uh, name in general but that's the guy that we're gonna be going for today uh, so I am gonna gr go ahead and grab my uh, grab some of my good armor out of there I did get a new rifle what's the damage on this guy 350 so it's a Pretty solid rifle, if I'm uh, if I'm gonna be honest here. It's pretty pretty dang good rifle. So to tame these guys, you're gonna need uh, two things. You're going to need honey, and you're going to need actually. Let's go get a sedative because I don't know how long this guy will take to tame. And if it takes a long time, I'll just throw the sedative on him and call it good. Wait, is that an alpha? Oh, if that would have been an alpha tape jar, that would have been. I would have absolutely tamed that guy. I absolutely would have went for that. Okay, so it's running here. I did organize all my chests as well. So, we should be good on that front. Okay, I really don't need that on me. I got my pickup on me, so that's good. So, we're going to go need to uh, look for some some uh, little honeybee, honeybee beehive thingies. Alright, so let's go ahead. I think there's some over by Jace's castle over this way. Also, we killed a dragon on stream with this guy, which was extremely, extremely easy. What is... Oh. Oh, I don't think we're ready for that. 870 yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pass on that that thing will probably hurt a whole lot i don't know if we're ready for that maybe if we had everybody online we could uh team up and take it down but unfortunately i believe i'm the only one online right now now i think i'm yeah there's a beehive right there you guys can see it let's see if we can actually um get over to it without flying in every direction but the one we want to go in here okay so maybe i might be able to reach it from here i might need to go up top actually See if I can get up top here. Um, I know when you do grab the honey out of the beehives, the bees will actually aggro you. So I do need to be a little bit wary of that. But I do have my sword on me just in case things do hit the fan. Also, this guy is just absolutely refusing to land up here. So I'm just going to walk him up. He's extremely fast, even though he's very weighed down uh, due to rando items being placed on him to try to make him usable. All right, so let's try to go like... I want to be able to get on this guy rather quickly. Uh, let me go ahead and take out these scorpions back here just so I don't have to deal with them. There we go. As you can see, Lightning Wyvern is absolutely killing it on the damage front. So he should be quite the monster once we get him maxed out. Uh oh, this might be interesting. Okay, come here. Okay, got it. Yep, there's the bees. There's the bees. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's a, that's a whole lot of bees. That is a whole lot of bees. Come on, I'm just going to keep backing up and swinging. Hopefully I can take them all out. Um, that's a little bit concerning. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're okay now. 
What am I hearing? Oh, it's just a baby. Okay, it's just a baby walking around. Uh, are there any other beehives around here? Because I think I'm going to need a little bit more than five honey, possibly. So I'm going to go ahead and look around for a few more beehives. I think I saw one over this way as well. Right? Did I? Is that where I saw it? Yeah, right. Oh, we got two. Okay, I'm going to bring my wyvern over here. Just in, in case things get a little bit hairy, I want to have some, uh, some quick backup right here just in case I need it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, uh. Let me go ahead and fly so he doesn't take too much damage there from that fall because he probably would have got hurt I know you can also tame up like the uh, the queen bee or something like that and uh, Get honey from her via farm. I think that's how it works um, But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and see <clears throat> Now I think I just get like this right Yeah, well, that was a queen bee. I don't know actually know how to tame those guys I'm gonna need to look that up to see how to tame them. Holy crap. That is a lot of damage to us actually Wow, I'm kind of glad I have these med brews on me, to be honest with you guys. Oh no, this one's going to be a pain to get, isn't it? How am I even going to get up there? Are there any other beehives in this area? Let me quickly walk around and check. So if I can avoid having to deal with that weirdness, I would much prefer that. How long does this honey last, by the way? It lasts three hours. Okay, so we have enough time to probably get to the snow biome and uh, find one of these guys. Oh, I really want that honey up here. Okay, let's maybe... Maybe I can get up over here, possibly. Climb up right now. Oh, yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can. Oh, no. Dang it, I was so close, too. Crap. All right, we're going to try it again. We're going to try this again. I don't know if I'm going to have to build something to get up there. I, I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. Okay, come on. I don't think I can get it. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that one, guys. Well, hopefully 10 honey's enough. I really don't know how much this, how much these guys will take. I've never tamed one of these before, so it's kind of up in the air as to uh, how many of these pieces of honey or how many of these honey thingamadoos it's gonna take to tame these guys up. This is oh, there's one right there. Okay, nice. I think I can get to this one a little bit easier. Back. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. Am I good? Holy crap, those guys are actually surprisingly dangerous. I was not expecting that. Okay, so we have 15 honey. Uh, I think that'll be good. I think so. Okay, let's head to the snow biome, see if we can find one of these, uh, Megatheriums. We should have plenty of tranks to knock one of these guys down. Um, I did come definitely prepared with tranks, because I've been stashing those guys up for quite a little bit. So let's see if we can find one. Is that one right there? Holy crap, that'd be super convenient. It is one. Wow. Um, let me quickly just turn around and roast these guys here. Don't want to have to deal with them aggroing me. That's not what I wanted. Uh, okay, what level are you, big guy? A 340. So that is definitely what we're looking for, but I think I want to go for a little bit of a higher level on them, if at all possible. So let's, we can, we should be okay, I think, to fly around here for a little bit with our armor on. Because we do have some pretty good, uh, some pretty good fur armor. That should keep us nice and toasty in here. Hold up, Kyan Tribesman? Yes, please. Yes, please. These guys give Quetzal Kibble, which is super rare. What? Where are you at? What? Let me alone. Go away. Okay, any more Kyan Tribesman anywhere near here? I don't believe so, so I should be alright to hop off of this guy. What do we got? We got some Terror Bird Kibble. I will definitely take that. Uh, this stuff is actually really useful for healing up your dino, so I'm going to start grabbing that as well. Um, yeah, we discovered that when we were trying to heal up some of our dinos. We're like, you know what, let's try this. It says it heals it a little bit, and lo and behold, it heals it a whole lot, like 20k HP. So those are actually going to be pretty good for boss battles um, as well, which is awesome. Because you do tend to lose a lot of HP when you do those crazy boss battles. Dang, I keep pressing 7. I'm used to having my spyglass on 7 slot. Level 60... I think, are those two level 60s, man? Come on, now. Come on. Oh, there's gotta be another, there's gotta be a good one around here somewhere. There has to be, right? Come on. Alright, we got another, at least these guys are, seem like, god dang, I keep pressing stuff. I might swap those around. There's a 400, that's not bad. Uh, I think I might go for that 400, to be completely honest with you guys. Alright, let's go and wipe these guys down. Lol, that was an alpha. Didn't seem like it. Alright, just wipe these guys out. Lots of hostile things in the area here. Now 
Okay. We should be alright. I do want to take this raft down, though, just in case he gets a little bit frisky with us. There we go, he's dead. Let's eliminate everything in the area so nothing will even have the chance to come get me. Um, I don't know how hard these guys are to knock out. I've never tamed one. How much torpor do you got, big guy? That's a lot of torpor. Holy crap. This is going to be a tough one, guys. This is going to be really tough. Okay, let's go ahead and tag him once. I don't know if they do any kind of special attack, kind of like the, uh... Oh. Oh, you're pretty speedy, guy. I don't know if he'll hit us. Yeah, he'll hit us. Okay, we need to get on a move. Uh, we need to try to bait this guy over to a cliff or something where we can shoot down on him. Hmm. Maybe over here. Yeah, let's head over this way. This might be a good spot to t Maybe if I can land. Holy crap. Come on, dude. What are you doing? What? Just land. Just land. There you go. That'll work, I suppose. All right. Pull this guy back out. Come on, get off. Get off. Get off the wyvern. Get, 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 get. Okay. Uh, these darts don't have any drop. I just kind of have to lead my shot. Yep, that hit him. Very nice. Sniping him, man. Absolutely sniping that guy. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. I really need to get one of those compound bows going, man. Those things do a lot of torpor damage. A whole lot of torpor. Oh, it didn't reg. Come on. Why is he running? Where you going, buddy? Where you going? It, you're not already knocked out. Are you? You are. Oh my gosh. I must have looked at the wrong guy's torpor. I thought he had a whole... I thought he had like... Wait, did I look at... Hold on. Okay, yeah, I looked at my lightning wyvern. Okay, that's not bad then. I was like, holy crap, these guys have a lot of torpor. But no, they, they really don't. It should not be that difficult to knock him out whatsoever. Uh, okay, let's pull out our rifle again. And pop him. There we go. That's just a baby carna, so I don't think that should mess with us too much. Oh, crap. I missed. No, don't fly. Oh, you. God dang it. He flew off the freaking cliff. Where's he going to end up? Right in the water. That is very unfortunate. I'm not sure if he's actually walking or not. I think it should be okay. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, I didn't even check for piranhas. That could have been bad. Uh, is his oxygen going down? Okay, his oxygen isn't actually going down. That's good. That's really good. All right, let's remote use that. And hope, just hope that we have enough to tame this guy up. Oh, yeah, we'll have plenty, I think. Yeah, yeah, it'll only take like four, four hunting to get this guy tamed. So that's not too bad. And there we go. We have our new Megatherium. Solid, solid. I really don't know what these guys are good for. Uh, if you guys know what they're used for, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have a name for this guy, let me know as well. And I will be sure to uh, to thank you for it and uh, change the name. Cool. So we have a, a sloth slash thingy-madoo. I really don't know what they're good for, guys. I really don't. All right. Let's, let's see if we can climb up here. See if we can get up there. There we go. Nice. All right. Let's head on home. Um, I really am not sure how hard these saddles are to craft. I wouldn't expect them to be super difficult to craft. But you never really know. You never really know. Uh, I would like to put on my good armor again, though, which looks like it's going to need a repair or a uh, repair soon. You know what I might do? I might just keep this armor on me and just put it in that folder. That should work, right? Yeah, that should be fine. That should be perfectly fine. All right, so close to home. These wyverns are so awesome, by the way. I can't wait till we get that level 600 uh, egg hatch. That's going to be nutty. I might do that on stream. That's usually when I tend to do also. Uh, my friend Techie actually gifted me a uh, plesiosaur which is right there you can see in the water we uh, had it on a baby threw it on his shoulder and just tossed it down right there so i mean whatever works how you doing plesy so if you guys have a name for this awesome plesiosaur be sure to let me know as well this thing's gonna be an absolute beast for underwater carnage oh god you are super hungry holy crap yeah just eat that that should get you up a little bit i think wow you're low on food my god Glad I got down here and looked at that. Very glad. I don't want that thing to die. Uh, do you have any meat on you? You do. All right, let's go give that to our pleasey real quick so it can get some food back as well. All right, have some meat, my dude. Wow, you ate that quick. You really like that kibble, huh? Or that baby food, rather. Oh, no. Oh, no, am I stuck? Uh-oh. Uh, crap. Oh, I hope I don't have to cheat fly. I might have to cheat fly out of here, guys. Okay, yeah, I got I to gotta cheat fly out. I hate using these commands, but sometimes you just kind of have to to get out of situations like that. There we go. Back to walking. Very good. 
don't like using those commands. So let's go ahead and throw our adorable sloth out of here. You are absolutely adorable. What is your name, little guy? What are we going to name you? I don't even know. You are freaking adorable, though. Oh my god, look at him. He's so cute. How big is he compared to me? Oh, he's huge. Oh, you're massive, dude. Holy crap. All right, let's see what the, it takes to make the saddle really quick. Me uh, mega... Mega Serium, that's what I want. So it's crafted at the smithy. That shouldn't be too difficult, I wouldn't think. Still getting used to my new base layout. Uh, settles, Mega Ethereum, where are you at? Right there. So we need a lot of cementing paste, hide, and a little bit of metal. Okay, that's not too awful. So we're gonna need cementing paste, hide, and metal. That shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Ooh, is my thing full here? It is. Go and pull that out, toss that in. Rather have that in there than uh, the, the cooked meat. Oh, we can put that in a stack of 50? What? What? I just like, there we go. Transfer it all in the, uh, come on. Okay, I think I should have some metal right there. Very nice. I do have all these organized, so it does make things a little bit easier on myself here. Get that, we're gonna need some hide as well. Let's grab the hide. That's a lot of hide that should do for quite a while in the smithy. Uh, da, 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 da. saddles, mega Ethereum right there. Very good. Um, I can also always upgrade the saddle in the end if I would like to do that as well and give it a little bit better armor stats, make him a little bit tougher. I'm not sure what these guys are good for, so if you know what they're good for, guys, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. I'd very much appreciate that. Uh, I am a big arc noob when it comes to these newer di <laughs> A little bit of stutter there. All right, let's go ahead and toss a saddle on this guy. Oh, you're so cool looking. How much health do you get per level? Okay, so not bad. I mean, it could be. Oh, you're adorable. Oh. Okay, so he's got a little claw attack. He turns like an absolute semi, but that's fine. Oh, he yeah, he's got some, some odd handling, man. Okay, come on, big guy. Back it up. Go across our little one-by-one -one bridge. Uh, I want to see if he harvests anything, because I've really never used one of these guys before, let alone rode one. Okay, what does this do? You gather wood, maybe? Ooh, thatch. Oh, you're going to be our new thatch guy, I think. You seem to get a lot of thatch, actually. That's pretty awesome. I'm fine with that. That is perfectly fine by me. Oh, yeah. Yep, thatch is your game. Oh, the bites. Oh, the bites. Oh my god, you get a lot of thatch, don't you, dude? Holy crap. Okay, let's give you some more HP. You know, up to like 100,000, that should be pretty solid. Get him some movement speed so he's a little bit quicker as well. You are adorable. You know that? Absolutely adorable. I'm also dying of heat stroke or something, so that's not very good. Okay, so right click will get you berries. That's good to know. So we have another berry harvester if we need one. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, okay. I'm digging it, I'm digging it, I'm liking it, that's awesome. I'm pretty happy with this guy, man. Random tame, very random tame, but uh, pretty interesting nonetheless. He's pretty cool looking, I really enjoy the way that he looks. He's kind of adorable. He's kind of adorable. We need a name for this adorable little guy. So if you guys have any name ideas, as always, leave them in the comment section down below. And I will be sure to, uh, to name it for you. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I want to find something to hit. See how much melee damage he's putting out. Something that's preferably not going to absolutely annihilate his face. Oh, I want to do this. Hold on, hold on. I want to, I want to get him, I want to get the level up screen like this. So it'll look even awesome for you guys. Or even awesome. That's not a word I know. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's thumbnail right there. That is thumbnail material right there if I have ever seen it. Oh, this guy's so cute. I love him. Oh, is that a dodo? You will do. You shall be a nice test subject. Come here. Okay, so we got our... 7 of 6. I don't think he's a damage guy. Maybe you do something special if I look in your inventory, maybe? Sit down. Oh, he sits down? That's kind of adorable. Uh, do you do anything interesting in there? It doesn't look like it. Options, no. Harvest settings, no. I'm gonna stand you up, big guy. Alright, oh, whoa, didn't want to do that. 
Come here. Got a Megatherium on your shoulder? You just happy to see me. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna give him probably a little bit more weight, I think, since he's gonna be a big thatch guy for us. We're gonna wanna make sure that we have a solid amount of weight on him. Oh, a Prime Dodo. The ultimate test. What is that? 200 Prime Dodo? Alright, we're gonna go for it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, he's running. Why are you running? Coward, get back here. Oh. Oh, you're running to your other guy down there. Oh, do I dare risk it? Do I dare risk it for the biscuit? God dang it, I gotta quit hitting those. It's a 380. I kinda wanna go for it. Alright. Megatherium, you got this. You got this, buddy. Me and you. Eh, back. Back. So that's kind of like an AoE, it looks like. Oh, bites where it's at. Yep. Okay, so I mean, you really don't gather that much meat or anything like that, unfortunately. Um, oh god, there's one right there. Back. Back, demon. Oh, there's no escape for you now. You messed with the wrong sloth guy. Yeah, you're done. You're done, Jim. You're absolutely done. Alright, uh, what do you got? You got any potions on you, sir? Always check these guys for potions, guys. Always, 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 because they might have some small XP pots, which are extremely, extremely useful. Uh, where did the other ones die? Oh, right over here. Da -da -da. There we go. Yep, and small XP pot. Pretty good, pretty good. Two small XP pots. Very nice, very nice. Alright, well, guys, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. We tamed up a cute little guy. He's absolutely adorable, and I love him to pieces. If you guys have a name for him, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below, and I will thank you for it, and I'll be sure to name it after you. Put your name in parentheses so we know it is yours. He swims absolutely adorably as well. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. If you guys are new and enjoy, hit that sub button so you guys never miss a daily video. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and as always, till next time, take care.